Hope you brought an appetite, because up next is the Cereal Box Project. In this video, we're going to look at this 24-page uh, manual called the Cereal Box Project. It's a project we've used in our class for over a decade, and we're huge fans. Um, the premise is simple. Uh, a large cereal, cereal company is looking to um, uh, introduce a new cereal to the market, and they want a cereal box that goes along with it. So, um, this guide right here will help you through that process. Now, um, there's a lot of advantages to the cereal box project. Number one, there's a lot of flexibility in what you as a teacher might do. Um, if you want to focus on volume, surface area, you can do that. If you want to focus on scale factor and unit rates, you can do that as well. There's a lot of um, ways to differentiate. You can, if you have a students that are really struggling with math, you can kind of gear this project back a little bit. On the other hand, if you have a student that really excels, you can kind of amp it up a little bit, make it a little bit more challenging for them. It's hands-on, which is always a win for kids. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for creativity. And it's also enjoyable because a lot of times kids will do items that are um, similar to things that they have an interest in. Now, as far as the actual guide goes, um, the first part we have like a foundation, just basically how you find area, volume, surface area, um, find nets, all the stuff that are the basic fundamentals of like two-dimensional, three-dimensional objects that we're going to need here. We get into later we talk about um, combining and subtracting, which is our kind of our strategy as far as like putting the object together. And we have some different examples along with some projects. We also have a whole bunch of um, pictures of some different projects that we've done. Um, we, then we kind of walk you through the steps, the different steps that we take to actually do this project. Um, after that, we talk in here a little bit about like, well, how are you going to grade this? And we show you some of the different ways um, that we grade students on this project. And it changes from year to year. Uh, it depends on um, what we're emphasizing, what we're looking at, um, and, and different things. And so it's a, it's a never-ending thing, but we share what we try to do. And finally, at the very end, we have 18 different um, tips and tricks that we've kind of learned over the years. It kind of makes, you know, helps make the project run a little smoother. Um, like I said, if you're interested in this, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it on Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, you can also find this uh, on our website at landamath.com. And again, all those links will be down in the description below. Um, if you're not subscribed to this network, uh, please um, subscribe. That would be awesome. And we'll catch you next time on The Land of Math.